Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I titled this video, SIG is overdoing it. And I want to explain why I think they're overdoing it. And I want to also tell you that this is nothing new, but I think SIG Sauer is taking the whole overdoing it concept to a whole new level. Let me explain. This is my SIG P226. This is a Talo exclusive. It's a very special model to me. But if you recall, this was the hottest gun that SIG ever produced. And it was their best seller for many, many years. And what did SIG do? They created many different versions of the P226. Sure, they gave it some Cerakote, they gave it different grips, they gave a little different look to it, a different price tag to it, but in the end, it was still a P226. It had the same barrel length, same magazine capacity. They just spiced it up a little bit. And today they have nine different handguns in the P226 line. It used to be much more, but now there are nine. And this one actually is not in there, although there's one that looks like this, but it's not this, okay? Because this is a Talo exclusive. Nine different handguns, all the P226. It really got crazy and they, they started overdoing it when they created the P320 line. When they created the P320 line, a lot of people said like they do all the time, that's a Glock killer. That's the one that's going to be taking over Glock. You know, law enforcement's gonna use it. This is gonna happen. And a lot of that was true. However, they had those drop safe issues and some lawsuits because people actually dropped the gun and shot their leg and, and other things that created trauma with the P320 and SIG had a voluntary recall and they were fixing them but then what did they do? They came out with various models, new models of the P320 line and that made the P226 line look lightweight because what they did with the P320 line was they kept going and going and going and then they really expanded it now they have the legions they they all all these have legions and and, and that specific model but they have so many more with the p320 line to a point where you can't even keep up with it i checked and they have 19 different p320 models it used to be three Subcompact, compact, full size. That has developed to 19 different ones. Are they overdoing it? Yes. Are they all selling? I have no idea, but I think it's kind of crazy. I, there are many, when I look like I want, out of the 19, I have to say I want about 15 of them, to be honest, but they are definitely cool. Are they overdoing it? Hard to keep track of, I'll tell you that. But what, what happened was they took the 226 and the P320 and they're applying that same concept to the P365. Now, when they came out with the P365, there too, there were some problems with the initial launch. SIG acknowledged, hey, our tolerances were too tight. We had to loosen them up a little bit. We had a lot of feeding issues. We had a lot of jams. We had a lot of stove pipes. We had to take care of that. Not unusual, but it goes overlooked as time goes on. But the P, uh, P365 line, you got a 3.2 inch barrel, subcompact, double stack 9, SIG, were they the first to do it? It's argued that other companies were before SIG, but they really perfected their craft. They did. They perfected their craft, and they, they made a great handgun, and many other manufacturers followed the P. 365. SIG now has 15 different P365s. Are they overdoing it? 100% they are. I can't even keep track of them. Is it my goal in life to keep track of SIG Sauer? No, but it's pretty interesting that something like this evolves to so many others. Now, their most recent launch that SIG created with the P365, I'm going to get on the table and show you that the P365 line went from this, a very basic but 
heavily requested concept, double stack, nine millimeter, subcompact, to what I'm gonna show you on the table. So let's go over there. Here we have Ruger Max 9 and the P365. Imagine if I said Ruger expanded the Max 9 line. They came out with some different models. Now, we are yet to see that. But I want to show you the first model they came out with. Would you believe me? Yeah, this is a Max 9. It's a full-size Max 9. You'd say, you're nuts. Get lost. The Max 9 is a subcompact. 3.2 inch barrel, but I said no, this is a Max 9. Well, isn't that what SIG does? Isn't it? Because let me show you the latest SIG P365. And before I show you, I have to say, I think it's very cool. It is. And this is the P365 Fuse. Now, do these look anything like the similar platform? Let me tell you how and why SIG would go with something like this to say, hey, this is a P365 and this is a P365. By, by the way, this is the fuse. This has a 21 round magazine and a 4.3 inch barrel. It has a one inch wide slide, which is very thin, very deep cut and wide slide serrations, a flat trigger, they call that the X trigger, and optic ready, RMSC footprint. Cool gun. I would like to have it. I think it's great. Laser engraved, stippling all throughout the grip. Feels pretty nice. Goes about 700 bucks. Also has a flush fitting 17 round mag. But they made them modular is what they did. So I could take the slide off of this and put it here and vice versa. That means it's still a P365. The question is, are they overdoing it? I think this gun would do very well if they gave it its own platform, not under the umbrella of the P365. I don't know, maybe that's just me. If they came out with a 320, P320 like this, I wouldn't be surprised. SIG does it all the time. They come out with all these different models of the exact same gun, but they make it a little bit different here, a little bit different there. Is that proprietary to SIG Sauer? No other companies do it, but SIG took the bar and raised it to a level that nobody has seen before. Just like this, P365, P365, totally different guns, similar fire control unit. They are modular, offer a lot. Are they the same gun? No. Not at all, not even close. So is SIG a company that overdoes it? 100% they do. Do you love it? I don't know, it gets confusing, it gets kind of old after a while, but in the end, I have to say, I do like this. But yeah, I, I, I would like to see them come up with some different categories instead of regurgitating the same gun 20 times over. That's just my thought, I'd love to hear what you think. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.